viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at how to cut a mammoth skirt or dress. So I'll just be focusing on the lower part of the dress. You can use this pattern to make your skirt as well. So please, if you are new to this channel, ensure you like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. So this is a velvet material, and I'll be using this to cut the lower part of my mermaid dress. So I just folded it into two using the hip measurement, which is 39 inches, divided by four will give me 9.75. 9.75 plus 10 inches extra for the uh, A-line of the mermaid dress. That's the fullness of the dress. So you can use 8 inches, 7 inches, or 10 inches, depending on how full you want the lower part to be. So we'll just go ahead now to the cutting of the clothes. Okay, so the length I'll be using is this is a dress I'm making. I'll minus my half length. That's from my shoulder to my waistline to get the full length of my dress. And the half length I'm working with is 15 inches. Okay, after minusing the half length, which is 15 inches from my full length, which is 62 inches, what I'll be using for the lower part of my dress is 47 inches. So I'll just go ahead and place my tape and mark 47 inches. Okay, mind you, this dress will be flowing, so if your actual length is, if you are using your actual length, you have to add extra inches to the lower part, so I have to enable it flow. So, I will mark 2 inches extra to this length. Okay, this 62 inches is actually her feet length, like from the shoulder to the feet length. Okay, this is the length we are using. I'll just go ahead now and put my basic measurement. So I'll be using this upper part downward for the measurement. So my waist measurement, which is 32 inches, divided by 4 will give me 8 inches. 8 inches. You can see I'm using, I'm marking from my line. 8 inches. I'll add 2 inches extra for seam allowance. Okay, from that point, I'll come down by 9 inches for my hip line. If you are making a skirt, you use 8 inches for your hip line. But since this is a dress, I'll be using 9 inches. That's from the waistline. So from that point now, I'll impute my hip measurement, which is 39 inches, divided by 4 will give me 9.75. 9.75 plus 2 inches seam allowance. Okay, from my waistline, I'll take my half length. That's from the waist to the knee. 2 inches above your knee. So what I'm working with is 17 inches. Okay, this is my half length. I came up by 2 inches from my knee measurement that from my waist to my knee which is 19 inches you come up by two inches so you can able to walk freely so for the only measure length i'll minus two inches from my hip measurement so the hip i imputed was 9.5 9.5 minus two inches will give us 7.75 sorry 9.75 so i'll mark 7.75 here so I'll add only one inch seam allowance to this space this is just depending on how shapey you want the dress to be. It's so just giving it a curvy shape. So I'll just connect the line together. So now I just connected from my waistline to my half length. Sorry about this double line, it should not confuse you. I just choose to start from this side because it is my right hand side easier for me. So this line is not really useful i'll just clean it up sure okay, i just clean the double line in order not to get you confused so this is the waistline this is my hip line this is my half length so for the hemming part of the dress i'll be using total of 20 
inch okay this is the lower part of my dress so what i'll be using entirely is 20 inches so i have exactly 20 inches okay so i'll just connect from my knee line to meet up with the lower part of the dress to give it an a-line shape so i'll just place my tape like this as you can see and i'll mark it to meet that point okay so this is it you can see how shapey is looking so cut this part out this is the front part Okay, this is the front part of my mermaid skirt. So I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric to cut the back part. Okay, I just folded my fabric into two, and this is the front part. So this kind of uh, mermaid dress will be joined together, I won't be cutting it separate. So the mermaid will be attached to the back like that. Here I'll mark my 17 inches half length from the waistline. To indicate my zipper allowance along that zipper allowance area you mark your half length which is 17 inches then i'll mark eight inches just mark eight inches here okay this is the eight, eight inches i marked from my zipper along my zipper allowance area on so the folded part so on that line this is my half length 17 inches so on that line now i'll bring my front part then flip over the a line area make sure the half length tallies with each other like this the half length of the front part is on the same position so i'll just try and get the shape of the a line that's the the shape of the mermaid so i'll just use my chalk to mark it just place it on that line with the inches, inches you marked and i'll just trace it out just to get same shape with the front part okay you're just tracing the from the half length downward that's the mermaid part okay after doing that you can see we have a slanty shape now i'll flip it back again i'll just flip it back again sorry this fabric is kind of you know how velvet can be okay then i'll mark two inches for my zipper allowance i'll just shift the fabric backward a little and mark two inches for my zipper allowance okay two inches to my knee length now just shaping it like that two inches then i'll fit my shape to meet with it so after doing that now, from this center front for the front part, that's the center front where my zipper is. This is my front skirt. You can use this pattern for both a skirt or a dress. Okay. I'm just trying to arrange the fabric so you can understand what I'm actually doing. Okay, from this center part now, okay, 
you can see the dress stopped here so depending on how you want the tail to flow you can choose to go down by 10 inches or 8 inches just based on preference how depending on how you flow you want it to be so i'll just go down by this is the actual length of the dress here mind you this is the center front we are along the zipper area that's where you have to do this so i'll go down by 8 inches so just go down by eight inches away from my actual length. So this is my actual length, and this is the folded area. So I'll just mark eight inches here, like so. I'll just use the entire rest of the fabric, which is 10.5, which is here. After doing that, then you come to this angle here. At this point, the folded part of the back area, then you take it like this in a curvy way to meet up with the front part of the dress. That's the other angle area angle of the dress. That's the A-line part of the dress. So you just curve it to meet up with that part. Okay, I'll just go over it again. This is the folded area. I'll come down by 10.5 inches or 8 inches is fine. Just depend on how much fabric you have. So I'm just using the entire fabric I have here, which is 10.5. So that 10.5, and this is the end of the back part of the dress. So I'll just connect from this angle like this, in a curvy form like this, to meet up with the edge of the front part. This is the front part. It has to be equal at that point. You just have to shape it to meet up like this. Just shape it. If you want it to flow very well, you can go as long as 20 inches, depending on the fabric you have, or you can do the detachable that you, you cut it separately and attach it to the center back. But I prefer doing it this way, sure. You don't want it to too flow. I think this method is better. I, I believe you understand what I'm doing now. So I'll just cut this out. When I'm cutting it, I'll just cut from this side like this to get my A-line shape. Then curve it to this point, then curve the same shape at the other side of the breast, the skirt. So I just mark the shape like this with my chalk. That's the hip area. Just mark it. Sorry, I'm just trying to arrange this fabric very well in order not to make mistakes. Okay, so I'll just mark it up to the waistline. I believe this is clear enough. You just mark the shape of the front part. Like just trace it out with your chalk down to the waistline. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out and that will be all for those mermaid dress or skirt pattern. Okay, I just wanted to have a look on how this shape is. This is my zipper allowance, two inches. This is my half length. Okay, I just shaped in it, giving it an A-line shape down to the hemming part, and this is the back area. You can see how the lower part is looking. It's looking curvy from this point to meet up with the edge of the front part. So we'll be cutting this out now. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Bye. See you in my next video.